Dear Evolution, I have a question. Where are your fossil records? We all know dinosaurs existed. Their bones have been found all over the world and we have seen skeletons in museums. But never have I seen a real skeleton of Homo habilis. We have found Egyptian mummies believed to be about 5400 years old. Just think about all the human remains that have been buried in the past 5400 years. Based on an estimate that Homo sapiens appeared around 50,000 BC, the Population Reference Bureau estimates the number of people to have ever been born to be about 108 billion. Providing that a skeleton isn't exposed to the elements and isn't buried in wet or acidic conditions, it is quite likely that the bones will remain intact and will not decay. Now the oldest hominid species to be unearthed is the Australopithecus afarensis, who lived between 3.9 and 2.9 million years ago. So they have had a lot of time to leave us some skeletal records. What I'm trying to say is that there should be millions of fossils of our ancestors. Museums should be loaded with them, not just some plaster replicas. Now don't go trying to tell me that they all decayed. In a National Geographic prehistoric timeline, dinosaurs were said to have lived 248 million years ago, and they walked around for 185 million years until a cataclysmic event wiped them all out. If that is true, then dinosaur bones are a lot older than the 3.9 million year old Australopithecus afarensis. So if anything would have decayed over that long period of time, it would be the dinosaurs. But over 700 different species have been identified and named. While the most completed hominid skeleton ever found is Lucy, who is only 40% complete. Are you fact, fiction, or theory? Your fossil records aren't as constant as my skepticism. Sincerely, 2 plus 2 equals 5?